One of the things that I routinely do, and a lot of uh, aggressive pros will do, is if I'm a pre-flop aggressor and somebody takes the lead away from me, I will raise them like 99% of the time. Yeah, that's what 99%. Because what I what I think to them is, if they flopped a set of sevens or tens, why wouldn't they check to me, make allow me to make my continuation bet, and then jump on me? Yeah. Why are they betting into me? To me, when a player bets into me, and, and I think this is the, the perception by a lot of pros, they're protecting a medium strength hand. So an example might be, let's say you had ace king here, you know, it's typically top pair or something like that, where they're gonna bet into you, hoping to control the size of the bet. They're, they're doing a blocking bet, essentially. Um, or they're, yeah, well, feeler bets for $2,000, when you have $2,000 are pretty bad. But I mean, in general. Yeah, so so I'm going to raise a guy 99% of the time that takes the lead away from me. So that's why I want you to think about, you know, as it turns out in this case, you got all the chips in, yeah. but you could have cost yourself an opportunity here by, by betting into him. Let's say he has, let's say he has two nines. Two nines, if you come in raising, if you come in raising in the cutoff, and he has two nines, I think he could still make a three bet, a three bet here, and then you might, you might just flat call. And so I think he gets away from some hands. I think he could definitely get away from some hands by you betting into him like that if he perceives you to be strong. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I was close to folding just based on the high I think the is that he's actually going to bet a king there. Just mm -hmm. He's going to be with the king. There's right. not enough chips for